Hello and welcome to a particularly short video which will cover how to program your STM32 F4 discovery board using a hex file. Firstly, a hex file is a hexadecimal source file which is sometimes the output of IDEs after building your C program. For whatever reason, your program may be built as a C file and you need to program this onto your board. This tutorial will cover how to do this. You will need the STM32 ST-Link Utility, which is available on the ST-Microelectronics website. The link is in the description. Download the software using the Get Software button. You will have to enter your name and email. Once downloaded, install the utility and its associated drivers. Once installed, open the utility. The window that opens will show the contents of the current hex file or the connected device's memory. In this case, I'll be using a hex file of a simple program which blinks the LEDs on and off. This program was made in an earlier tutorial and the link is in the cards above. Press the open button and select the hex file you wish to program onto your board. You should now see its contents under the file tab and next you can connect your STM32F4 discovery to your computer using the USB connection. Click the connect to device icon and you should now see the current contents of the memory of your device, your microcontroller and the device ID in the output window. To program the device, press the program and verify button. Make sure that the hex file is selected in the file path box. Select verify whilst program and check reset after programming. Now you can press start. You should see the verification OK in the output log and your STM32F4 discovery will now be programmed with your hex file. In my case, the LEDs on my board are now blinking. I will briefly cover how to output a hex file from Key or Microvision. Simply open your project, select options for target. In the output tab, check the create hex file box. When you rebuild your project, your hex file will be produced. It can be found in the object subfolder of your Keel project. Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you at all, please consider liking the video and subscribing.